All right, so now in this video, we're gonna look at mean, median, and mode again, but we're gonna do an example where we kinda of have to use all three of them and see which one's best. So our example is, is we have a dog breeder and they wanna find out the typical weights of the dogs they have. So here's all the weights in kilograms. So there's about 16 of them, I think. Uh, and it's asking what is the best average to use, okay? So the best thing to do is just to find all of the averages and then compare them. And then that's when you can really get the best idea for, I guess, what's best. So we'll start with the easiest one. So I'll scroll down to make some space. Um, and we'll just say that the mode is going to be, so you count through all the different numbers and see what comes up most often. And in this case, it is 19 kilos. So that's the only thing that comes up twice. So we'll say 19 kilograms. So the two 19s are this one here and this one there. So the mode is 19 kilograms. Next, we're gonna look for the mean. So the mean is gotten by adding all of them together and then dividing it by the amount that there are. So that's divided by 16. And if you add them all together, I'm not gonna do them all manually. It's 335.5 <clears throat> divided by 16. And that's gonna give us an answer of 20.97 kilograms. And the last one then we're gonna look at is the median. So I'll scroll down so there's still space. And we have, I'll change color as well actually. Go red. The median then is the last one. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to rank them all in order. So you have to look through each of them and find the lowest one, which in this case is gonna be 14. So I'll write 14 first. And the next lowest, 14.5. And the next lowest, which is going to be 15, and so on, until we write them all. So I'm going, to, I'm going to write them all out quickly. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing, but it is. It just shows how tedious it is, and it's prone to mistakes as well. So here they all are at the bottom. I'll scroll down just to make space. Now that we've crossed all these off, um, scroll down. So if you want to count all of these, you have to count the middle value. So there are 16 of them, uh, 16 different digits. So we have to find the middle one. So the problem is there's gonna be two halves of eight. There's not gonna be no exact middle value. So if we find um, the, the eighth and the ninth and get the average of those two numbers. So if we go, this is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on this here, we're also gonna have another eight. So this is our ninth number. So we have to get the average of 18.5 and of 19, because those are, those are the two middle values if we wrote them all out in one line. So hopefully that makes sense. It's the first eight, and then these are the second eight in the bottom. So it's the uh, the first one of the second eight, and then the last one of the first eight. I don't know if I'm confusing you guys more. It's the two middle values anyway. So it's gonna be 18.5 plus 19 divided by two. So that's gonna get us our middle, middle value, which is gonna be 18.75 kilograms. So next thing to do is to look at all the values and to decide which one is best. So we have 20.97 kilograms is the mean. We have 18.75 kilograms is the median. And we have 19 kilograms is the mode. So the first thing you'll notice is that they're all really, really, really similar. So sometimes in statistics, there isn't really a clear cut answer. Uh, but the trick is, as long as you pick an answer and then back it up, so in sometimes in paper two and statistics, you're actually gonna have to write a short paragraph to explain why you picked something. So it's a lot different than say something's in paper one in that, in that regard. But as long as whatever you choose, as long as you back it up, then you can still get the marks for it. So the first thing I'll say is you have to have a look at the data. So um, the data is all fine until we get to this last dog here, which is 60 kilograms. So obviously it's a massive dog and that's an outlier. Yes, remember we learned that word in the last time? Um, that's an outlier, it's an extreme value, so it'll affect the mean, yeah? So that's what we learned last time, so 20.97 kilograms. If we rank 20.97 in um, all of these numbers in order, it would be all the way up here. So it'd only be the third last, so it'd be way bigger than most of the other dogs. So we're not gonna choose 20.97, we think it's a little bit too big because of the outlier. So the next two then, we have to choose between the median and the mode. So in this case, the mode and the median are really, really close. Um, it just so happens that two dogs are 19 kilograms. They're, like All of these numbers are quite close together, 14, 14.5, 15, 15.5. 
um, they could also have been close to, they also, also could have weighed the same amount uh, and that could easily have been the mode. So for that reason, I'm gonna pick the median as the uh, as the best average because it kind of shows the middle value um, and both both sides are sort of spread out quite evenly from this middle value, except for the 60, the outlier. So the median is probably the best value to use as your average in this case. But again, like I said, as long as you back up what you use, you probably could use the 19 kilograms as well, um, then you're allowed. So hopefully that example, hopefully it made sense and hopefully you kind of see now the difference between the mode, the median uh, and the mean and when each of them are useful uh, and what's the best one to use in certain cases. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it there for now. And in the next, um, in the next video, we're going to look at mean, median, and mode again, except in frequency tables, which are just instead of big lists of numbers, they're sort of tables. Uh, so we've seen them with histograms before. But anyway, I'll leave that there. Uh, if you did like the video, like and subscribe, and share them with your friends. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.